Welcome to Haifa. Well, you're not here, but I am. This is the largest city in northern Israel, where the green Carmel Mountain meets the blue Mediterranean Sea. Here are seven facts you need to know about Haifa. Haifa is a diverse city, where Jews, Christians, Muslims, Druze, Baha'is, and others coexist. The Holiday of Holidays Festival is a celebration of the religious and cultural diversity of the city, and takes place every December. The beautiful Baha'i Gardens, the center of the Baha'i faith, is probably the most iconic site in Haifa, attracting over half a million visitors a year. These are the 19 terrace gardens leading to the Golden Shrine of the Bab. Baha'i, how you doing? This charming train in Haifa, the Carmelite, holds a unique title, the shortest railway line in the world. Although it's technically a cable car moving on a track rather than hanging in the air, moving up and down the mountain. A ride from the first stop to the last stop is only eight minutes, so don't fall asleep here. This is the Cave of Elijah, a holy place for Jews, Christians, Druze, and Muslims. According to traditions, Elijah the prophet took refuge here during his wanderings in the Carmel wilderness. And here we are thousands of years later still talking about him. But he never prophesied that. This city is crazy about soccer. Maccabi Haifa is one of the most decorated teams in Israel, and the Sami Ophel Stadium is one of the largest and newest in Israel. It can seat 31,000 people that know more about soccer than I do. The largest film festival in Israel and in the Middle East takes place here in Haifa. Every year, leading filmmakers from Israel and around the world come here for 10 days of excellent cinema. 10 days of excellent cinema? That's a good name for my movie. Did you know that the only Japanese art museum in the Middle East is here in Haifa? The Dakotan Museum showcases exclusively Japanese artwork, music, and dance performances. I think it's only fair that Japan have an Israeli art museum. Just saying. This is Haifa only in a nutshell. We left Haifa's food, the port, and the famous Technion Institute of Technology for our next video. And of course, the stories of the amazing people here. If you care, share.